you have the tire off, check the tread, look for nails, look for your wear indicators. And then I think it's a good idea to clean out the inside of the wheel because that can change your balance if there's enough dirt buildup in there. And also I think it's a good idea to go ahead and clean the inside of the tire. Treat it with 303. If you're rotating your tires every six months and you're putting 303 on here every six months, your tires ought to last a long time. Cleaning it with the Wesleys seems to do the best job of cleaning tires. I don't use it to clean the wheel, obviously. I'm just going to use diluted Dawn to clean the inside of the wheel. And whenever you have your wheel off, I always think it's a good idea to check your brake rotors, your brake pads, and visually inspect everything else just to see. So you basically want to look at your pad there and see you have wear indicators if they're getting close and it's hard to say for sure but I would say these are getting very close now I've already purchased pads so this will just be another video to redo these pads although it's not a tire shine product 303 Aerospace Protectant is a great thing to put on your tires. It's going to protect them. And I think it does a pretty decent job as far as shining them up, too. But it doesn't fling off. Like I said, if you really want your tires to last a long time, you need to protect the inside as well. And if you use the 303, you can probably get away with doing the inside every three to six months when you rotate your tires. Then before you lower the vehicle, you want to kind of get these hand tight. The torque spec on these is a mind-blowing 140 foot-pounds. So highly unlikely I'll accidentally get them that tight. But you do want them snug enough that the wheel is sitting on there correctly before you down and before somebody else comments no this is not a torque wrench it's just an adjustable wrench I've gotten several angry comments on video saying that I shouldn't be using a torque wrench to loosen nuts and bolts and obviously I know that and I don't use a torque wrench Another one of those handy tools I got from Harbor Freight. It works almost like a breaker bar or just a regular socket wrench. Okay, so these are snugged up enough now that you can lower it and torque it down to the spec. Okay, you set your torque wrench to the proper setting, which in this case is 140 foot-pounds. 